Is the traditional laptop dying? Well, in this video, we are going to find out because we have Lenovo's brand new Yoga Book 9i, which is the world's first full-size dual-screen OLED laptop compared to Apple's M2 MacBook Pro around the same $2,000 price point. This one starts at $2,100. This one's for $2,000, which of course you can get right now on Amazon for only $1,800. But in this video, we're going to be testing everything, including the designs, thickness, usability, performance, display quality, everything to see if this is a better choice in 2023. Now, everybody knows what the MacBook looks like, so we're going to close this, set it aside, and take a look at this crazy new design right here. As you can see, we have dual displays, both OLED. They look absolutely incredible. But one thing you might not know is that this thing has a 360 degree hinge. Check this out. It folds all the way down like this, which is absolutely incredible. And even better, this middle part right here actually has speakers built into it. As you can see right here, it has Windows Hello support. So it has all the IR sensors, everything built in right here. And it also has this kind of outward reverse notch, which helps you kind of open it when it's closed like this. So it's not going to be a pain. There you go, just like that. Now what's really unique is that it also comes with a keyboard and this special case that's actually used as a stand and of course the pen, all of which I'm gonna get into in just a second, showing off the really cool and unique modes you can use these dual displays in. But first, I wanna compare a couple of things to the MacBook Pro, especially the ports. Lenovo packed in three Thunderbolt 4 ports, which is awesome on this thing, especially how light these little display sections are. And right here, they also have a little switch that cuts out the camera, as you can see right there on the display. Now on the MacBook, you also get three Thunderbolt 4 ports, but they outdid it by far. They have the MagSafe 3 port for charging, so that means another Thunderbolt 4 port is open. They also have a headphone jack, HDMI, and an SD card slot, so definitely better ports on the MacBook Pro. And now let's compare the size and thickness. As you can see, the Lenovo is quite a bit smaller and more portable than the MacBook Pro, look at that. And surprisingly, even with dual screens and very good screens at that, it's still thinner than the MacBook Pro. Now, before I move on, if you love this type of dual display setup on the Yoga Book, you'll love the Geminos monitor from Mobile Pixels, featuring basically the same setup with ergonomically designed dual stack 24 inch monitors, which requires very minimal desk space thanks to its built in base that has a bunch of extra ports packed in. It's also great for MacBooks as well, with monitor angles that can be quickly adjusted and pivoted to match your preference and height of the built-in 1080p webcam. So check out the Geminos dual stack monitor using the link below. Now, as far as comparing the keyboards and the trackpads, as you know, Apple's magic touchpad or trackpad is the best in the business. You literally can't beat it. It has a design which you can click anywhere. And right here, it looks like it doesn't have one, but check this out with three fingers, just like that. You have a virtual trackpad that pops up and you can even resize it and then move it around if you want to. Now, believe it or not, even though this is on the display, I honestly like this trackpad better than any other Windows laptop. Yes, any other laptop because it's using a display and software that works very well compared to those crappy diving board trackpads on other laptops. But check this out, you can also go like this. If you tap with all of your fingers, Boom, virtual keyboard and a full trackpad. Look at this, all the way around pops up. And honestly, Lenovo did an excellent job with this trackpad. And you really gotta get used to it because there's no feedback, but it works very, very well. It's very responsive. But of course, the physical trackpad on the MacBook Pro is amazing. You can't really beat that physical feel, but in exchange, the Lenovo gives you two whole displays, so let's get into that. But it also comes with a keyboard. Check this out, you just pop it out, just like this. There you go, a Bluetooth keyboard that works just like this. You turn it on, and there you go, you're typing. So the nice thing about this is that you have flexibility to move it around however you'd like, type with it, it feels 
very, very nice and responsive, but check this out, it also comes with another feature. There you go, you plop it on, and it has magnets built in, so it connects right flush with the actual Lenovo book, and it opens up this new UI, where check this out, you have another display with some news articles, you can log into your emails, all while working with a touch screen right here on the top display. This is very, very clever. And I've gotta say, I'm quite impressed with this touch screen. It's not that reflective compared to a lot of other touch screen Windows laptops. So this is really nice, great contrast due to the OLED. I'm very, very impressed with it. Of course, the MacBook Pro doesn't have any kind of touch screen or anything like that. So this is really innovative. And another thing the MacBook can't do is this. It can fold down flat on the table. As you can see, cannot happen on the MacBook Pro. Now, before I get into comparing everything like the cameras, the speakers, the display quality, and the performance, I wanna set the MacBook Pro aside and show off all the different modes you could use these displays in. Now, the first mode is to lay it down flat like this where you could basically use the pen to draw, let's say you have Photoshop or some other app open, you could even spin it like this, move it around while you're drawing, which is really cool and unique. They also have tent mode, so you basically just fold it back like this. As you can see, you could see the display on both sides and it automatically adjusts the orientation. Now the cool thing about this is that you could be working on some kind of presentation and then everybody in front of you can see what you're kind of presenting to them or let's say you're working on your laptop and you have your kid watching some cartoons on the back. That's actually a really cool use case. Now the other modes work very well with the keyboard, but this one I kind of overlooked at the beginning. Check this out. You plop it on right there at the top and now automatically you get your trackpad on the bottom just like a traditional laptop. You have your keyboard up top so you can do your typing and of course your trackpad with the buttons right here. Of course, if you want, you could take your keyboard and stick it down here. That way you get your full dual displays and your keyboard at the same time. And here is the next mode where you basically prop it up using the little keyboard case, which is really cool. And then even the keyboard magnetically attaches right here, right into this little divot. And as you can see, I have vertical displays right here. So basically you could be doing some research online while doing some file app things, moving stuff around or whatever else you'd like. And then you could also grab it and flip it up like this. And that way you kind of have a dual display setup that you can kind of set further away from you, change that angle, and then use a mouse and keyboard to control it. And now let's get into comparing the display quality. As you know, the Lenovo has two displays that are actually identical displays. As you can see, we have HDR videos playing right here and I've gotta say, I'm impressed by the brightness because usually the MacBooks get a lot brighter than Windows laptops and this is right up there. The contrast ratio looks amazing. The colors look amazing. And in terms of the specs, it has 2.8K resolution per display, 13.3 inches, the same 16 by 10 aspect ratio as the MacBook Pro, but they are 60 Hertz panels while the MacBook Pro goes up to 120. And the really awesome thing is that it also supports Dolby Vision with 100% DCI P3 colors, just like the MacBook Pro. That is really impressive, especially since they're packing two of the same display on this thing. Now on top of that, usually Windows laptops, especially ones with touch screens, are very reflective, but looking at it right here, it's basically the same as the MacBook Pro. That is incredibly, incredibly impressive. And I've gotta say, I don't think I've seen a better OLED display on any other laptop. Props to Lenovo. But what about the speakers? Let's compare them with this song. So as you guys just heard, the MacBook Pro dominated the Lenovo, which usually happens. It always destroys Windows laptops, but honestly, this was pretty impressive for only having the speakers in a soundbar. And we've seen many, many more Windows laptops that sound much worse than this. So it was honestly pretty good. However, there is a lot more bass 
on the MacBook Pro, as well as the sound stage and kind of hearing all the different frequencies separately, the MacBook Pro killed it in that way. And the Lenovo mostly focused on kind of the mids and highs. So it's good for vocals, but not as good for music. And now let's get into comparing the webcams. Surprisingly, this has a 1440p video webcam. And right here, it looks pretty good. You guys let me know what you think and also about the microphone quality as well. And then here is the 14 inch MacBook Pro with its 1080p quality webcam. So you guys let me know the differences down in the comment section below. And now let's get into the performance. The Lenovo comes with a new Raptor Lake i7 1355U with 16 gigs of RAM and a one terabyte SSD, which is very nice. The MacBook Pro on the other hand has a 512 gig SSD at the base price and a binned 10 core M2 Pro chip that has two less performance cores. And of course it also has 16 gigs of RAM. So let's go ahead and start the CPU test. And there you go, we have our scores. And this is actually impressive because this thing is not really designed for pro productivity workflows. It's basically for general use with the dual displays being the coolest feature. And surprisingly, the MacBook Pro is only 16% faster in terms of single core and 45% faster in multi-core. So this is definitely gonna be the one if you're doing video editing or other productivity work. And now I'm running the graphics test to see if the MacBook is gonna destroy the Lenovo. And wow, that is a massive difference. The MacBook Pro score is over four times higher. So this basically means that this Lenovo laptop, you don't really wanna do any gaming or kind of like video editing, photo editing, anything that relies on a lot of graphics performance because it is really, really lacking. But of course, for general use, multitasking and stuff like that, that is definitely enough. And now with all that said, let's jump into the conclusion. Is the Lenovo Book 9i better than the MacBook Pro? Well, honestly, I've gotta say I'm impressed with the dual displays, very, very high quality. The fact that it has a 360 degree hinge is amazing for all those different modes that you can use. And in terms of the battery life, it should get around seven to nine hours, even with the dual displays, because a lot of people think with these huge dual displays, it probably eats a lot of battery life. Well, it's actually very, very good compared to other Windows laptops. It's not as good as the MacBook Pro, which could get 11 to 12, but it's still very impressive with these two displays. And that is because they stuffed a huge 80 watt hour battery in this thing, which is very surprising due to its portability compared to about 69 watt hours on the MacBook Pro. But with that said, I've got to say that this thing is absolutely incredible. There's just so many different ways you can use it. It's awesome for multitasking. You don't have to go out and get an external monitor like you have to do with the MacBook Pro. It's all in one. It has a stylus, additional keyboard, just so much value packed in for the price. So I've got to say, if I were a regular user that didn't need any kind of performance things like gaming or video editing, I would probably go with this thing right here because it is really cool and innovative. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did, you can find the links to this Lenovo laptop down in the description below as well as the mobile Pixels Geminos dual stack display. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Click the circle above to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.